All right, guys, how you doing? It's uh, Sergeant Q in mm -hmm. our video, whatever. So today, today I just want to talk to you guys about um, about stress and the stress hormones and, and what that feels like, like like what that physically feels like when when you start to have a panic attack, start to come on, or you start to get stressed out, or, or, or you feel that uh, that tension. Like, what, is that, what does that feel like? I mean, do you guys recognize that? It took me a long time to figure this out. A long time. Um, but now it's to the point where I started to understand my body and, and, and what's happening to me. So when that anxiety, when that trigger pops, pop, and uh, I start getting into that stressed out situation, um, my brain, what it does is, is when there's a trigger, it automatically kicks in the adrenaline and the cortisol. Right, which are two chemicals that your brain releases into your body, which creates that fight or flight syndrome. Now, I've gotten to the point where I can start to feel that even before I can consciously recognize that something is bothering me. I can start to feel the those hormones literally like coursing through my veins, man. I mean, I can feel it. It feels very uncomfortable. It feels like like I got fiberglass running through my veins. It, I don't know if you guys experienced that or something similar. I, I know it can't just be me, but I start to actually physically, I can feel that like running through my veins, man. And it uh, that's usually my first sign that, hey, man, I need to wake up. Like something's, something's going on here and uh, I got to get myself out of the situation. I got to take a few minutes. I got to use some breathing techniques. I got to remove myself from the situation. I need to go take a nap. A nap. I, I don't know why, but then that'll reset my clock. Like if I'm dealing with that panic attack and I can feel that cortisol just pumping through my veins, man. I've done it before where my desk at work, man, I just curl up underneath my desk at work and I take a, take a nap. It, it could be for 10 minutes. It could be for two minutes. Doesn't matter. For some reason, if I can fall asleep, it resets it resets my body. It's weird. So I hit the reset Boop, button man, reset. on the PlayStation. Start it back up. I'm good to go. feel a little jittery, you know, when I come back, but uh, it's a heck of a lot better than, than how I was feeling. So um, recognize your guys' body, man. Recognize what's happening to you. When that stuff is is going on, uh, that that's my word for you guys today is 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 just learn your body, man. Figure figure it out when when those things are starting to bug you. Uh, don't just freak out and, and and hide from it, man. Just uh, think about what's going on. You know, you can feel that coming on, but like, oh okay, yeah, well, I'm starting to feel this, so let's remove myself from the situation and let's think about why that happened, what went on. You know, did a coworker say something to me? Did they uh, do something that upset me? Um, what was it that triggered me? You know, and you can start to work that stuff back and unpack it and figure out what's causing you the stress and anxiety. So next time you can avoid that or you can deal with that individual and say, hey, look, man, what you did, I understand for most people, that's not a big deal. But I tell you what, man, when you come up and you slap me on the back like that, you, know, you just think you're being cool and fun and having a good time. But for me, man, that freaks me out. It makes me want to choke slam you. So let's not do that anymore, all right? Have those conversations with people. Otherwise, they're going to keep doing that stuff and it's going to keep freaking you out. So pay attention to your body. Pay attention to what's happening. Um, and it's just going to help you guys. Like I said, I don't got it all figured out, you guys. I just try to tell you what I do and, and what I've learned and, and, and how I get through the day. So I, I hope this stuff helps. And, uh, you know, if not, start your own YouTube channel and uh, help somebody else, brother. All right. I love you guys. Sergeant Q, 